Good morning, everyone. Uh, I apologize for a little rough voice. I'm not feeling too good this morning. Um, but I'm only the replacement speaker. Some of you will have a little deja vu with that. Um, and usually, I'm the first one to make fun of my boss, Imad, who couldn't be here today. But sadly, this time, it's not a funny story. Um, he was called home to Jordan for a very serious family health crisis. And, and I, I just want to say that I'm, I'm very sorry for that. And, and my thoughts and prayers are with him. Um, but to me, it's important that someone is here from Intel to speak. So even though I'm not quite at my very best this morning, I figured I'd come out and, and give it a try. So my name is Dirk Hohendl. I'm the chief Linux and open source technologist for Intel. I've been doing open source for quite a while, 25 years maybe, and long before the word open source actually was coined. And to me, open source has always been very critical to our ability to, as, as individuals, influence where technology is going. So I found it very interesting that the first few speakers this morning were all talking about technology only as a tool in, in a much bigger context, in the context of how do we make this world better? How do we do things that matter? How do we make our government better? So in a way, I'm saying, well, I guess I'm, I'm having the, the less exciting topic here today, because I'm talking about something that is not so much in, intended to, to do the big deed, making the world better, but just to do the little thing, to help us create better technologies in an area that many of us are very, very interested in. Most of you guys have laptops on, their, on your laps, and most everyone has a smartphone in their pocket. And mobile connectivity, mobile computing has become so natural, so much the default for all of us, that we don't really think about how special it is to be able to do that. And in a way, the, the software infrastructure that most of us use for this never was designed for mobile uh, interactions. A, a lot of the software infrastructure still comes from a desktop metaphor. And over the last five years, um, Nokia and Intel both have started projects to figure out a better way to do uh, uh, an, an environment for mobile computing. So uh, Nokia started the MIMO project to, to use on their tablets and, and uh, high-end cell phones. And Intel has worked on the Moblin project to do netbooks. And I actually had the pleasure of presenting this here a year ago. Actually, no, in Santa Clara a year ago. Um, and it turned out that what we were trying to achieve was extremely similar. And even the technology stacks that we were putting in place had a lot of overlap. And it felt that what we were doing was two companies, two projects, two open source communities redoing the same work over again. And that seemed silly, because we don't want to waste our time. We don't want to waste our energy. We want to create software that helps create a better environment for people to use their computers on the go. So we merged the two projects and created the Migo project with the goal to have a unified software stack that runs across netbooks, handsets, tablets, all the way to things like a media phone, a connected TV, even in vehicle infotainment, so you know, your DVD player in your car. And, and what was important to us was to have this as a truly open source project. So as a project that is not just a spin-off of a, of a specific company, but as a project that is seen as something for the community, by the community, and with the community. So we have put this project under the auspices of the Linux Foundation. And we have put a very open governance pro uh, process on all this. We have a technical steering group that literally meets on IRC roughly every other week. And everybody can join. You can ask questions. It's a very open process how decisions are being made. We have working groups for the different usage models. We're inviting all the people from the community, everyone who has an interest in, in, in these usage models, to, to join us and to help us create good, solid solutions. And the way we've organized this on the technological side is we simply said, this is an open source project. So it should work like an open source project. We have maintainers that, that maintain different subsystems, whether it's the kernel, it's 
the, the tools, it's the, the uh, location of air stack, so uh, GeoClue, things like that. We have open source repositories. Everything is out either on uh, Migo.com or on Gitorius. And we have a meritocracy how decisions are made. So we really invite people to, to come in, bring us feedback, and to respond that feedback based on its, its technical value and not based on you know, how much money did you spend on sponsorship of something. What is important for us with Migo is that we want to create a full open source stack. So we really don't want to create a dumbed down specific system that happens to use a Linux kernel. We want to create something that feels like a complete stack has all the libraries that you're used to, has uh, a stable and strong UI framework, and is inclusive in, into different technologies. We have reference user experience. We have a bunch of applications that are provided by default. We are trying to help the community members to create the strongest possible fully open source stack that, that they could use. But of course, we also invite vendors to come in and create proprietary add-ons and create proprietary solutions on top of that. I mean, as we all know in this space, if you want to create a top-notch phone, not all the components that you uh, have will be open source. Our goal is to make it possible to create a fully open source phone, to create a fully open source stack for a tablet. But we invite proprietary vendors to work with us on creating uh, exciting solutions on top of that. We are currently focused on, on the user experiences that I've mentioned, so uh, a netbook, handset, um, tablet, um, and, and a couple of the niches like the in-vehicle infotainment. But of course, we're open to others, so ideas can always be brought to the technical steering committee. We're very open to ideas what else we should be covering. We are working on a roughly a six-month release cadence, so every spring, every fall, we bring out a new release. And we are in the process of getting all the pieces together to have our first full phone stack release this fall. We had our day one code release uh, um, a little over a month ago. And this has created a lot of attention. And this has created a lot of excitement because this is really the first time that a full telephony stack is available with all of the required features by the network providers that is in open source and that can be reused by anybody. The, the way the Arca system is supposed to work is, is actually quite simple. We work closely with the upstream projects. We have our own component projects that we bring in. And we take this together um, with the support from the chipset vendors and from third-party application vendors and basically create um, an, an operating system that can then run on the specific devices. Um, as we know, as we all know, sadly, there are components like codecs, that may have to be closed source, so those may come from the device vendors directly. But as you see, there's also the possibility to take a complete open source stack and put it on a device and create something that you want to work with and that you can hack. And that is very important to me because for me, a platform is only successful if it is able to bring in the developers and to excite the developers about an environment in which they can make technology better. One of the things that, that I want to focus on in this presentation is our approach to working with upstream, because there's a lot of confusion about what open source means. To me, open source does not mean that you comply with the letters of the license and that you make patches available where you modified source code. To me, open source means that you engage with the projects that you use that you become part of these projects and that you drive the changes that you want into these projects. So one of the fundamental ideas behind Migo is that we want our changes, our innovation to happen in the upstream projects. For example, if you want a kernel change to go into the Migo kernel, normally the requirement is it has to be in Linux's Git tree. Sometimes relax it a little bit and say, okay, there needs to be active discussion. It needs to be maybe in Andrew's tree. It needs to be on, on its way. Same is true for things in, let's say, Ophono, our, our modem stack, or in telepathy, or in Cairo, or in Gstream, or on the X server side. 
everything that we do to make Migo a better product, we want to do upstream in those projects that are involved. So for example, on Migo, the X server no longer runs as a root, simply a security concern that we have. All the changes necessary to do that were made in the upstream kernel, in the upstream XORG project, and then brought into Migo and implemented in our first snapshot um, about half a year ago. And, and to me, this is critical to being a successful open source project. Because if every new meta project, every new project trying to create a product, simply starts forking the upstream projects, and yes, releases their patches for others to look at, but does not try to bring these technologies back up into the upstream, what we're going to end up with is the Unix world of 20 years ago. Things that on paper are similar and should be the same, but are fundamentally broken and incompatible, and, and there is no clear maintenance path how you can get them back together. We need to work upstream. We need to work on, on the shared sources that we all have on our open source projects, and then take that into our final product and create from it um, the exciting solution that we are looking for. So my, my invitation to all of you is to join us and to help us make, make Migo better and more successful and to help us work with the different open source upstream projects to solve this, the problems that you see in mobile devices and that you want to see better, uh, see made better. So um, we have um, our website, migo.com. You can go to the wiki. We have a forum for people to ask questions. Um, and we would really like to see a lot of developers join us and help us create a better product. Thank you.